Hello friends, welcome back. In today's video, we'll talk all about new Terracotta Blushes by Guerlain. And I also picked up one of their Bigelow oils. So yeah, I'm excited. I picked up two shades of these cute blushes. If you know, you know. Terracotta bronzers are the OG of bronzers, right? So everybody has one, everybody loves them. They have a particular scent. I'll be honest, I have none at the moment. I had them in the past, but I've decluttered um, the ones that I had because they tend to be quite warm tone. But when I see blushes, I'm all over the place. First off, these are very, very cute packaging. I love it. It is exactly the same as the bronzer, but just in a mini form. I'll show you a little close up. It gets a little fingerprinty. So let me just go ahead and um you know clean that out so here it is you're gonna see my lights back there sorry about that but it is a, be a very very cute design i like that here you can open the flat part here to reveal the blush very easy you know to open and whatnot this is the deepest shade that I picked up and you can see it is a beautiful fuchsia shade. We'll do comparisons because hello, as soon as I put them on, it reminded me of something and you're gonna, you're gonna see what I mean. And then this is the other shade that I picked up. I think I did really good when it comes to the shades. I got three and four. Three is pretty neutral and then four is a pop of color. So I'm excited to, you know, to show this in action. Um, and then the shade that I picked up for the oil was this beautiful lavender glow is the name. It's in the shade 809 and I love the color. I haven't worn it whatsoever. This is it. It says girl land right there and we get a little B right at top. I'm actually, I want to put something on my lips right this second. So I think I'll show you with nothing um, to see if this is pigmented. I'm not sure. So let's apply. Okay. So it has color. Mm, I love the texture. It's really a thick oil. Yeah. It reminds me of the ore oil you can see it has a little tint of color this is a beautiful shade mm, love the high shine love it love it love it love the color too okay good start let's go ahead and apply the blushes we're gonna begin with the lightest one right here and this is how much the brush picks up. Swatching, I was a little underwhelmed. I thought they weren't gonna be pigmented, but the deeper the shade, the pigmented it gets. And you're gonna see. So let's do this one over here. So check that beautiful color. The formula is very soft. It's really, really blurring to the complexion. I love that. I didn't even read on the description of the blushes. Hold on. So these blushes are described as airy and seamlessly blendable. This powder blush offers a tailor-made, buildable, and natural natural result. The terracotta pigment softens a vibrant shades to harmonize flawlessly with the complexion. We get five grams in the blush pen and these are made in France. They are meant for all skin types and um, yeah let's continue. This as you can see is a beautiful very very pretty just very natural shade. It is buildable so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna take that much and I think that's gonna be too much. We're gonna end up very, very blushing here. And this is truly the perfect, perfect everyday shade. Let me put a little top of my nose. I love this. I absolutely love this shade. It's really pretty, it's very buildable, and really blurring. So I went ahead and cleaned my brush as best as I could with a little towel. Let's apply the deep shade and this guy. 
teeth pigmented so yeah we must be careful At first glance, you won't tell them apart as you can see, but this shade is very distinct. You just need to apply it a little bit more to reveal the beautiful fuchsia action. You know what I mean? How stunning. And I usually love this type of fuchsia shades. These are like my kind of blush, pink and then fuchsia. These very vibrant and vivid blushes are my favorite. I like to apply just under like that. And oh my goodness. Oh, a little hair from the brush. But yeah, this is it. By the way, in my complexion, I applied the terracotta foundation because of course hello we need to you know apply them together i have the shade 3.5 which is my perfect match i love it and by the way they also released that concealer like this terracotta concealer i'm excited i picked it up this morning i saw it yesterday on the us side i wasn't sure i could get my hands on it this morning i insisted and i was able to uh so yeah i picked it up i'll review it this week whenever it arrives i'm not sure how long it will but i'm excited for that concealer as well because this foundation Keeper. Let's go ahead and set. I'd love to set my powders before I'll show you the you know end result. Alright, friends. Now let's move on to swatching and let's move on to some comparisons. Let's pull out these lips because I'm sure you're excited like I am. I got so many questions because I did a poll on my Instagram. I asked, what do you want to see this compared to? So I brought the ones that were mentioned the most. This is the first one in shade 3. We'll swatch it right here. I'll tell you what. These don't swatch overwhelm me. These don't swatch. Sorry. These don't swatch overwhelmingly good overwhelmingly is that a word i don't know they don't swatch as they applied like you need to you know do a little building up but they tell you that in the formula so this is shade three it is a beautiful beautiful rich dusty mauve shade the finish of these blushes i consider them like a satin you know they're not matte but they're not glowy. I don't I don't find any luminosity. But you know, on the skin, after you set them and everything, they look healthy, right? Um, then of course the deep shade is gonna be deeper. To touch, they're not extremely like pigmented or they're not extremely glidy. Like the formula of these surprise me a little bit when you touch this formula they're not gonna be silky butter as say gucci which we're going to swatch next because i got a lot of questions saying you know compare with the gucci and i do feel like they're actually similar but i tell you right now gucci is a little bit more glowy so i'm cleaning my my little fingers before we can swatch so from Gucci, I have shade 9, which is Intense Plum. And Intense Plum is so, so soft to the touch. Like, the swatch will just glide. The other one from um, Guerlain is just a little skippy. I don't know if you understand what I mean. Like, if you swatch, you can feel the difference, right? Um... Also, Gucci, you get 5.5 grams of the product. In the girl line, you get five. I don't think this um, bright coral is similar, but I'm gonna still swatch it because it's one of the only like light shades that I have from Gucci. And you see, not even if I build that up, it's gonna come near 
to shade three, which is a good, good medium shade, which by the way, I love that they made them these reach. These are very nice and pigmented. And then I have shade six, which, oh my God, I don't know. I'm gonna swatch it just here, but not at all. You see what I mean? This is extremely saturated compared to shade three. So these are the ones that they were a little closing tones. Also ask to share the ones that I have from Valentino and same thing with Valentino. Valentino and Gucci are very similar. These do swatch very, very pretty, but you can see this is shade 10. Is it 10 or nine? 10. 10 from Valentino is a little bit more berry, you know, like grape. This is a little bit more cranberry, like there's more fuchsia in it. I don't know if you'll be able to see, uh, but they're not very, they're not the same. Like when I apply the Valentino, I feel like I have a grape, a grape blush. When I apply this one from Guerlain, I feel like it's cranberry. I hope I'm making sense. Now shade two from Valentino is a pink shade and the one from Guerlain is just, yeah, this is too pinky. You can see that one here. So far, <laughs> terracotta blushes one and the rest zero. I was asked to swatch RMS Beauty, but again, I, I don't feel like they're very similar. Like the, the ones that I have anyways, they're not very similar. And plus, the RMS are so glowy. They're truly like a highlighter hybrid, you know, blush. This beautiful one from Shantikai. And this is also very, very much glowy. Is yeah, not similar whatsoever. And the two from Girl Land. Now let's do Patrick Ta. And Patrick Ta has a few shades in the powder one. Like this guy here. This one is Cheese Flushed. And I think Cheese Flushed may be similar. Okay. So Cheese Flushed is just a little bit lighter, as you can see. The mid one is shade three. So, yeah. Now we have Ochi's Different, which is a little bit more rosy. And we're gonna do that one below. So this is like a good mix of the two. <laughs> I don't know if you agree with me, but that's that. And then we have Chis Wanted, which is very rich. This one here, which is also a cranberry shade, but I think this is gonna be so, so deep. Yeah, it's deeper. You see that? Just deeper, but I think if you diffuse it enough, gonna shave the same by because whenever I put this on it reminded me of this shade when I put the Guerlain this one it reminded me of this one from Patrick Ta. I have um Akai Sky now these ones from House Labs they're a little tricky because I think they're being discontinued I don't see them anymore oh these are similar Look at that, that swatched really smooth, even though they're top free. Like this one's from House Labs, they're close, they're very, very close. This one and the Guerlain one, because the formula is very similar. Um, you know, you get a satin matte kind of blush, they're very blurring to the skin, they're almost a matte blush, and I feel like Guerlain, you know, will give you that vibe. Very interesting. Hi friends, this isn't the best lighting. I apologize, but I forgot to mention longevity on these blushes. They last all day long. I wore it yesterday for 12 hours and when I went to remove it, it looked pretty good. Now the lip oil, this has been on for maybe two hours without drinking or anything. I just went, grabbed my kids, came back, whatever. But it leaves a stain behind. I did not know that and I didn't anticipate my, li my lips do feel very hydrated. And you see it has a little bit of a sheen, of course, not the high shine that it had upon application. But, you know, this is pretty nice. So, yeah, 
I just wanted to report on those two things. Blushes are pretty long lasting and I'm loving the lip oil. Now let's talk about the lip oil. I really like it. This really reminds me of the Dior lip oil. So if you like that, then you're gonna like this. It has a little bit of a floral scent. It says hydration 20 for 24 hours. Um, honey and royal jelly infused and you get 92% of natural derivative ingredients which is similar to Dior's. I really like this. I love the big don't fit applicator. I love the color payoff. Look how high shine and pretty that color is, right? So um, yeah, just another lip oil. If you're a fan of lip oils, I'm pretty sure you like this. It has a little not scent. I can't perceive like a scent. Nah, no. It's just a little floral, but it goes away. I also got a question on <laughs> the Guerlain blushes. Do they smell? And they do, but it doesn't linger. Okay, Florence, yeah, it does not linger. Like you, you know, you smell it when you put it on. It's the same scent as the foundation. Yes, <laughs> same, 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 same. Um, so yeah, you're gonna perceive it. It's just there for a little bit and then it goes away. If you're sensitive to scents, I apologize. I don't like makeup, like scents in makeup products, but things like this that they just go away, I don't really care for. I don't mind. And I mean, my skin is skinning thanks to my terracotta foundation and the blushes. So I love that. As you can see, I absolutely love these blushes. I think I want more. <laughs> I'm not sure. I already placed my order for the concealer, as I mentioned. So I'm not sure I'll get more, but maybe I will because these look beautiful. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think of the blushes. Are you excited to try them? I see a lot of hype on Instagram. You guys were excited when I got my hands on them on a timely manner. And so that's why I decided to film right away and share my thoughts. So I would love to hear what do you think? Do you like terracotta collection? Are you excited for the concealer as well? Any comments, anything at all, friends, drop them down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.